Hey everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. This one is Star Wars The Old Republic. The Empire changes strategy, and I'm assuming it's because they just lost. <laughs> uh, the Mandalore was an interesting one, learning about this king or ruler or greatest fighter in the galaxy, warrior. Pretty awesome. Interested to figure out what exactly happens in this video. This is requested by a Patreon subscriber. If you too would like to join the Patreon, link down below in the description will get you there. Leave a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I post daily, so come on back. Hit the notification bell if you feel like it, and let's go. Graphic there. The arrival of Imperial allies in the Great War was a devastating blow from which the Republic never fully recovered. This was the second step in the Sith Emperor's master plan. Recent Republic strategic information reports prove that the rise of the Mandalorians was orchestrated by Imperial intelligence. We know extremely little about this shadowy organization, but Imperial intelligence operatives are clearly just as deadly as their Sith superiors. The galaxy's criminal networks wavered endlessly during the Great War, debating whether to back the Republic or the Empire. Although the Hutt cartels resented the Sith Emperor for not including them in his pre-war conspiracy, Imperial intelligence somehow blocked the Republic's efforts to win the Hutt's support. Scattered around the galaxy, Mandalorian mercenaries and bounty hunters faced the same choice as the Hutt's. Some signed on with the Empire, but most remained independent. That's what happens when you lose. Imperial diplomats made repeated attempts to recruit the galaxy's most infamous bounty hunters but were turned down every time. The Empire shifted its tactics. Mandalorian mercenaries and bounty hunters often fought as gladiators for money and glory, a mark of honor in the Mandalorian cool. culture. Imperial agents used this to their advantage, infiltrating the most prominent gladiatorial arenas in the galaxy. Oh, I knew there was gladiatorial sponsors, stuff. And even I knew it. I called it in the last video. <laughs> if you're unaware, I'm watching these in order. Um, and I totally called, I thought of Gladiator with Russell Crowe in the last video. I'm so in happy some about cases, that. <laughs> as gladiators themselves. The Imperial agents singled out a proud young gladiator to be their pawn. This young gladiator had always fared well in the arena, but with his new Imperial allies, his rise was accelerated to unprecedented levels. Rigging arena fights is not unheard of. But Imperial agents brazenly sabotaged the entire system by drugging their champion's competition. None could stand against him. Sabotage. The whispers of Imperial agents became cheers in the arena. Mandalore. Mandalore. The ancient title of Ultimate Warrior King was thrust upon the young gladiator. His infamy grew. And when he called, the Mandalorians rallied oh. to their new master. The new Mandalore secretly served masters of his own, however. Imperial <laughs> agents pulled their puppet <laughs> strings, and the Mandalorian army blockaded the hiding marionette Ray and challenged the Jedi. Though the blockade was eventually broken, the stage was sneaky, sneaky was set for the <laughs> sacking of Coruscant and the uneasy truce, which now paralyzes the Republic. The Mandalorian Sith Alliance remains intact to this day. That could change if the original ruse was brought to light, but the Imperial intelligence covers its tracks too well. Mandalore was slain recently, and his killer, the new Mandalore, has taken his place. Oh, well, there you go. Whether or not he's another Imperial puppet remains to be seen, but we must watch him closely. Imperial agent success in bringing the Mandalorians into the war was the counterplay to the Republic's first string of victories. The subject of my next report. Interesting. That reminds me of a couple things that I've watched. Number one would be the Medici and how they had influence over the Pope. 
Um, they selected the right pope that they wanted in there, bribed people, used extortion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, that would be the first one where you can kind of pull the strings and whatnot. Well, I can't remember the other one, but it, I know it was good. <laughs> the Medici is a good one, uh, where they certainly had pull over the folks under them. That is so sneaky that their intelligence was able to get inside, infiltrate this gladiatorial games, and rig it. That is so awesome. And I don't know if they've made any fan-made content or even official content around that, but that would be fantastic to watch. All of these stories would be amazing to watch. Um, not sure if it was in the game or it was just lore added to the game to kind of give the game a little bit more story behind it but it would be fascinating to see more content involving that um yes it does kind of remind you of gladiator back in what was that 2003 that gladiator came out with russell crowe or was it 90s was it 98 no 2001 Something around kind of goes off of that, but it's Star Wars based, so it's not really the same. That was requested by a Patreon subscriber. If you too would like to join the Patreon, link down below in the description will get you there. Leave a like in the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you on the next one.